The Duterte administration is touting the BARMM as a white knight that will bring lasting peace to Mindanao. The MNLF, however, is complaining that it lacks representation in the Bangsamoro Transition Authority or BTA that will have the expanded Autonomous Moro region until 2022. Now, under the Bangsamoro Organic Law, the 80-member BTA will be made up of the following. 41 will be coming from the Moro Islamic Liberation Front or MILF and 39 will be appointed by Malacanang. Now, the appointees will include MNLF members and representatives from the LUMAD, the youth, and the women's sectors. Now, what this simply means is that right at the start, the MILF pretty much holds the majority in the BTA. And this has become a sticking point for the MNLF. Recall that members of the group air their grievances during the oath-taking of BTA members. They felt slighted over the seeming disadvantage when it's their group that initiated the Moro Rebel movement. Now, moving on, the group said that of the 21 members they endorsed to Malacanang, only five were appointed by President Duterte. Tensions rose when MNLF Vice Chairman Firdausi Abbas threatened to form a new rebel splinter group as a form of protest. Now, the threat isn't something to shrug off. Abbas is recognized as a sultan in Lanao and he belongs to one of the old political clans in Mindanao. Now, News 5 has spoken with Muslimin Sema, who is part of the MNLF Central Committee. He had also served as the group's chairman. Now, Sema explained that 12 of their members, not five, have been appointed to the BTA. Now, the former MNLF chair also told News 5 that the group will let the MILF run the Bangsamoro government in accordance with the BOL. Sema added that they will talk to Abbas to ease tensions and resolve the issue. Now, splinter groups have always been a problem with the Moro rebel movement, especially if a faction is against peace talks. Even the unit led by Sema and Abbas is a faction of the MNLF. Just a short lesson in history, guys. Nur Miswari founded the MNLF in the 70s. Now, in 1979, Salamat Hashim broke away from the group to create the MILF. In 2008, MILF commander, commander rather, Umbra Kato separated from the MILF to form the Bangsamoro Islamic Freedom Fighters, or BIFF in Maguindanao. Now, Miswari has faced problems within the MNLF rather at the turn of the century. In 2001, his generals revolted against him and Miswari was kicked out of the organization by the so-called MNLF Executive Council of 15 that was created by MNLF Chief of Staff Yupsup Jikiri and MNLF Secretary General Muslimin Sema. Now, the council said they lost trust and confidence in Miswari. Now, Sema and Jikiri's group will have to mind Abbas's threat to break away from the organization. Right now, there are three factions within the MNLF. There's the MNLF Executive Council that's part of the Bangsamoro government. There's also Miswari's group that refused to join the Bangsamoro region. And there's also the unit that's called the Islamic Command Council. And these are the complications that the new Bangsamoro government is facing as it takes the helm of the expanded Bangsamoro Autonomous Region.